Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to be here for the opening of Exercise Cobra Gold 2019. Thank you very much, General Pompey Pat, and your team for all of your efforts in putting together this great exercise in its 38th uh, occurrence. This exercise which is so important to our two countries and to regional security. I want to thank General, Lieutenant General Valeski for his presence here representing United States Indo-Pacific Command. Your participation illustrates the importance of Cobra Gold as the crown jewel of the enduring U.S.-Thai alliance and the pillar of America's unwavering commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. I also want to warmly welcome the participating nations Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, and South Korea and to welcome China and India who are joining us in conducting humanitarian civic action activities this year. And also to those countries joining the multinational planning augmentation team and to the other observer nation delegations. It is fitting that Thailand and the United States should co-chair this longest running international military exercise in the world, since our nations also share such a long and close partnership in our history. The exercise brings together nearly 30 nations from around the world to strengthen joint cooperation and interoperability. Today's world poses diverse challenges that can solve by no country alone. It's essential that we're able to cooperate and collaborate. The benefits of Cobra Gold have been clearly demonstrated through the in past years. Our nations represented here today have fought side by side in battlefields, have worked together in humanitarian and natural disasters, uh, such as the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, the Great East Japan earthquake tsunami, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, the, 20, 000, the 2015 earthquake in Nepal to relieve the suffering of those affected by natural disasters. Disasters. We've worked together to help the people throughout those times. Just seven months ago, the United States and other Cobra Gold partner nations supported our Thai allies in their dramatic rescue of the wild boars soccer team from the caves in northern Thailand. 2019 will be a busy and exciting year for Thailand. They prepare for an election. They prepare for a coronation. They are already leading ASEAN in the rotational chairmanship of that great gathering. We have always viewed Thailand as a leader in the nation and a leader among ASEAN. And this year will highlight Thailand's centrality and leadership qualities in ASEAN and the Indo-Pacific region. The next 10 days in Cobra Gold will help provide all the participants greater interoperability, greater familiarity with each other in dealing with crises. But even more important than the training value itself will be the relationships formed during these exercises. Relationships formed between the participants at every level. One of the young Royal Thai Armed Forces lieutenants taking part in Cobra Gold this year may be the next General Pon Pipat in a few years after. And a young U.S. Army officer could very well be attending as Lieutenant General Valeski is today. I encourage all of you to use the next 10 days to build these relationships, to build the training muscle memory, to help us work together with our allies and partners to face the crises uh, in, the, in this region. I want to conclude by saying how honored I am to be with you and thank you for all of your efforts for Cobra Gold 2019. Launai Thanap Ben Puthan Lataban Sahalat Melika. ขอแสดงความรู้สึกที่เป็นเกียรติที่มีโอกาสเข้าร่วมในพิธีเปิดแล้ววันนี้แล้ว
ขออวยพรให้ทุกคนที่จะมีส่วนร่วมใน exercise การฝึกอบรมโคปรโกลในปีนี้ให้ได้ผลสำเร็จในทุกด้านรวมถึงด้านความปลอดภยัยเพื่อประโยชน์ของทุกประเทศที่มีเข้ามีส่วนร่วมและเพื่อประ,ป,รประโยชน์ของประชาชนในของทุกประเทศในผู้มีภาคนี้ Thank you very much Thank you Excellency Thank you very much indeed for your kind words